At Connection, we begin every service with what we call a statement of standing. Uh, there's a quote that I love that says, uh, you know, we spend our whole lives walking around trying to convince one another that our masks are on straight. So we read these uh, statements of standings every Sunday morning to remind ourselves that our acceptance was not based off of how well our life is going, right? It's not based off of uh, whether or not our mask is on straight. The first one that we read is called the Sojourner's Prayer, and it goes like this. For anyone here who has doubt and who is uncertain, for any of us unsure of what we believe about God, we honor your doubts and we acknowledge our own. For anyone here who feels lost or in between two places, we acknowledge how lonely that must feel. For anyone here who is experiencing pain, sorrow, grief, depression, we are not here to chase it away. We are not here to promise that religion will make it go away. We are here to sit alongside you in your sorrow. May you feel that you belong. This prayer honors people who have doubts, who feel lost. You know, we all experience uh, our pain, our sorrow, our, um, we all grieve in our own unique way, and we honor that at Connection. We make space for that. You know, we admit that life is uh, hard and painful, and that oftentimes it doesn't make sense. We're not here to promise you that religion will make life pain-free or that it'll make life easier. We do not try to uh, fix your situation or fix you. Uh, we instead want to sit alongside you and say, hey, I have that problem too. We want to make it clear that you are safe and that you belong. The second statement of standing that we read is called uh, the prayer of acceptance and uh, it goes like this the world around us tells us that we must change in order to gain acceptance our inner dialogue often tells us that we must change before we can be loved let this serve as a reminder that you are loved exactly as you are you will always be loved even if you never change your faults, your flaws, your failures, they do not disqualify you from being loved. You are loved simply because you are worthy of love. May you accept that you are accepted. As we go through our day-to-day -day lives, as we go through our, our weeks, it's really easy to forget some of these things. It's easy to forget that we're worthy of love and that we're worthy of respect. So we read this statement of standing as a reminder that, uh, at connection at least, you are uh, not measured by your successes or your failures. Uh, you can just come exactly as you are. You can take your mask off. This video is a, a part of a series of videos that explain what we do and why we do it uh, at Connection. And so uh, maybe below this video or to the side, or maybe even above this video, depending on where you're seeing it, you should see um, more videos that explain different aspects of our Sunday morning gathering. Uh, what we do at Connection is so different from a traditional church. It's not like a, a traditional church at all. Uh, so if you're curious as to what to expect on a Sunday morning, uh, these videos uh, will help explain what we do. We don't gather every week uh, at Connection because we think it's a spiritual obligation. Uh, we simply gather because we feel like we need to be reminded of things that we easily forget. So if you uh, feel like you need to be reminded to, uh, feel free to join us on a Sunday morning. <laughs>